What's up guys, it's Dominic and thank you again for stopping by. Today we're going to be talking about shutter speed. What is shutter speed exactly and what do those numbers signify? Now shutter speed is just one of the components of the exposure triangle. If you don't know about the exposure triangle, check out the video I did about aperture. But shutter speed is one of the components and what that refers to is the time in which the shutter is open and closed to allow light to hit that sensor. So essentially, no matter what camera you have, even if it's an iPhone, there is um, a shutter or uh, something blocking, in layman's terms, something blocking the light from the sensor. And when you hit the shutter, the shutter, what it's called, <laughs> when you hit the button to take a picture on any camera, that shutter is going to open and then it's going to close. And it's going to open and allow light to hit that sensor. And this is a very stupid uh, <laughs> depiction of that with my hands. A picture this hand is the sensor, this hand is the shutter. You hit that button, the shutter opens and closes, and light hits that sensor for the amount of time that that shutter is off. Now, shutter speed is just how quickly that mechanism does that. Uh, a faster shutter speed, one one thousandth of a second, one two thousandth of a second, one eight thousandth of a second. The faster it is, obviously the less light is going to hit that sensor. So the darker your image is going to be. The slower that shutter speed is, or open one second, 30 seconds it stays open and closes, that whole time it's open, that's just light hitting that sensor. So you're going to get a much brighter image. Um, now, a byproduct of shutter speed, because that's pretty easy, right? Faster shutter speed, darker image, less light comes in. Slower shutter speed, the more light comes in, the brighter your image. One thing that's really, really important with shutter speed and something a lot of photographers struggle with um, and a lot of beginning photographers struggle with is why aren't my images in focus? And they'll think it's a focusing problem when really it's a shutter speed problem because shutter speed has a huge byproduct in the focus realm. The amount of time that shutter is open and closed Everything in that image or everything that you're looking at when that shutter is open is going to be collected by that, sh that sensor. So essentially picture someone running by and they're running quickly. This pen is a person running, obviously, because I'm stupid. Anyway, the, the person is running and you have a slow shutter speed. Say it's open for three seconds and that person's running by. One, two, three. The entire time that shutter was open, it's collecting data or it's collecting light of whatever it is. So that person is now blurry from here all the way to here because it was all one image. We're not talking about a movie here. So in those three seconds that any type of movement that's happening in that slow shutter speed, it's blurry because it's just a blur of light that went across. If you need to capture any type of moving subjects, human beings, animals, um, if you're shooting wedding, the bride coming down the aisle, you need a faster shutter speed. If you go, my kind of rule, my rule of thumb is one two fiftieth of a second. Um, because at that point you'll start getting motion blur with any type of fast movements. If you slow it down past that sports photography, you're up in the one one thousandth of a second range or faster. You really want to freeze that image as quick as possible and stop all movement that's happening in your images. Something that you don't really think about when you think about focus, but shutter speed is very, very, very key. Nine times out of 10 when I have people that come to me and they're talking about soft images and moving subjects, the number one thing I go to is shutter speed and 90% of the time it's correct, that is the problem. Which is why shutter speed and aperture work in conjunction with each other. So there will be certain times when your aperture is at f9, let's say, or f8, okay? And your shutter speed is at uh, 1 60th of a second. Well, you're not getting enough light. It's too dark of an image. What do you do? Well, you slow that shutter speed down more than 1 60th and you're gonna get blurry images because you're trying to shoot your baby that's crawling along the ground and they're moving. And that moving subject is, is, is moving too fast for that slow shutter speed. So you can't slow it down anymore. 1 60th of a second is already too slow. So what you need to do is you need to up that shutter speed quicken it up, get it to 1 2 50th of a second, and in conjunction, you need to open up that aperture. So you need to bring that aperture down from f1, f8 down to f4, down to f3.2, 2.8, something like that, uh, and, and really get more light coming in. It's gonna be a shallower depth of field, but your focus is gonna be hitting on your child that's crawling, and it's gonna be a faster shutter speed to freeze that image. Uh, see, so there's a lot of components that you really got to think of. So you really, really have to master each component in the exposure triangle. Now, that being said, I'd say 60% of the time to 70% of the time that I'm shooting, I'm riding my shutter speed. 
And what that means is I have an aperture that I really want to shoot at. So say I'm shooting a engagement session and I want to keep my aperture at a shallow depth of field. So I want it at maybe f 2.2. So what I'm doing is I'm riding my shutter speed. The darker it gets, the lighter that image gets. Say I'm, I'm in the shade and then I pop out and they're in the sun now. I'm riding that shutter speed. So I'll crank that shutter speed up really quick. I'll back it back down. Um, and, and I like to ride the shutter because as long as I'm over to 1 2 50th of a second, uh, I really don't have to worry about it too much as long as I'm I'm above that point where I'm freezing uh, the motion in the in the image. I don't have to worry about anything else. So I really like riding the shutter speed, as I call it, or using the shutter to um, uh, change the exposure quickly on the go. Um, I, I like that more than aperture because I like to set my aperture at a certain point. I like a certain look. I like a certain bokeh, um, and I kind of know the focal distance that I'm shooting at. One more little pro tip in shutter speed. Uh, you really need to be mindful of your shutter speed and their sync speed if you have a flash or an external flash going on in your camera. So some flashes can only sync up with your camera up to a certain shutter speed. A lot of times that's one two hundredths of a second. So that's something to keep in mind. Take a look at your flash. Sometimes you'll get an image that looks where half of the flash is working and half it's not. And that's because your shutter speed's too fast for that flash to keep up. So that's all I got on shutter speed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Tweet me, hit me on Instagram. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing feedback. And I hope I'm explaining this in an easy enough way for you to understand. Number one thing, go out and try it. Shoot a shutter speed at a very, very high, very fast shutter speed. Shoot at a very low shutter speed. Shoot a moving subject and see how slow you can get that shutter to go down on your lens so that your cameras can freeze that image. Um, there are some variables in that. Some cameras have in-body image stabilization, which helps with uh, camera shake and motion blur and that sort of thing. So maybe your camera can do it. I would say the best thing to do is go out, test it out, hit your, get your camera on manual, set your aperture up, f2.0, and just start firing away different shutter speeds and you can see what those do and how that changes the exposure. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate you being here. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace. Did I just do a peace sign? Oh my 